We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's Angels Baseball next on the show. Matt Andres, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year, and we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. Here's Brett Gardner now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch, 707. Off it's the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of the season and ride that 500 line all year. At some point, you're going to have to take seven out of 10, eight out of 10 to get this going in the right direction. Number 99. Aaron Judge. Digging in now, Aaron Judge. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. He's faced Matt Andres previously. He has seven hits in 17 at bats. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Temperature here at game time 61 degrees. The one two is taken but called strike three as he might have gotten a little extra off the plate that time. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it third. wasn't outrageous. Hey listen calling balls and John strikes Carlo. is a really tough job and Champion. even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. Giancarlo Stanton Aye. now as he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 15 long balls and 36 RBIs. The wind up and the 0 1. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Maddie, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. He chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. It's the Yankees nothing. Angels coming to bat on MLB The Show. Jay Happ will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams 
filled with guys that get hit throughout the lineup. And this is a really good pitcher. Angel. Standing That's in, Andrelton stop. Simmons. Andrelton. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the Simmons. first. Now the pitch. Outside. That's ball. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. Ready to deal. Here's the one-one. Oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And it's fouled away. And he nope. takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. That was that a great exactly. battle right there. He the tried to get him to chase, but he Big laid bear. off some really tough Watcher. pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So striding forward now, David Fletcher looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Torres has it, and there's one away. Batting third, the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. At the plate, Anthony Rendon. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, that's down. One and no pitch on the way. Oh. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. the 2 0 too tight with that one three and oh we're seeing a good a B here from the three hole hitter if he can work a walk or pick up a hit here he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with only one away at this rate he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook we'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle and that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish he drove in the other of their two runs last night First offering on its way. Ah. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. line toward the alley in left center and this ball's going to get down and it should play to couple one run is scored here's a second runner around third safe at the plate as it's now a two nothing ball game 
You don't think being a starting pitcher six. in this league will touch your resolve? He's already given up more runs in the first inning in this one than he did his entire last start. That's the kind of roller coaster ride that will make you a little crazy. But that's kind of how baseball works sometimes. Here's Tommy LaStella now as he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. The average at 284 to begin play. Ten home runs and 34 driven in. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And it's one and one. Hap comes into today's second in the American League and All Star voting among starters, so it looks very likely he'll be rewarded for his efforts this year. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. Sharp ground ball to third. And that's the second out. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Justin. Now at the plate, Justin Upton. And the Angels looking for more here in the opening frame of the contest. First pitch on its way to Upton. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Trout stands at second with two gone. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Down the third baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one, two. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. The two two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Heading after it is Judge. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Second no, inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. Oh. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. Outside, yep, three and zero oh now. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Into the box, Mike Talkman. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. He's set. Here it comes. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Talkman, the former Colorado Rocky. He was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. 
Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works Labor. off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Runners on first with one down. Now he did well to get a piece that time and it'll stay two and two. From the belt the pitch smoked on the ground up the middle and that gets through for a one out base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Simmons, but wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Now at the plate, Miguel Andujar. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. From the belt, the pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. On the season, Andujar is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Just keeping him close. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Runners on first and third, two away. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now a throw over to first. Oh, Runners back. The 2-1 home. Slapped hard the opposite way. Goodwin is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Yanks strand a pair. They trail it here, 2 to nothing. Stepping in, Brian Goodwin. He set to lead off the home half of the second. One the of the right keys field. to securing a win. Oh, yeah. They want to keep the pressure on Good and try man. to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at-bat. In there, and it's 0-1. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Now a fastball oh, off the plate away. A ball and a strike. And 
This is low, ball two, two and one. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ani pops it up. But this will land untouched. Here now the 2-2. Hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Batting it. Here's Albert now. Baseman. He drove in one of their Albert. two runs in last night's ball game. Hole. First pitch on its way. Hey. One and one. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that Batting bad, nine. but that's what happens that's when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner that's half of throw. the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 1-0. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Castro, a 32-year-old veteran, he's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Angels, two, and the Yankees, nothing. Stepping up now, Mike Ford, and he'll start out their half of the third, the top of the order to follow. Mike Ford. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Ball three. Three and two now. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart here. And I don't know if maybe there's something wrong with him physically, but it seems a very quick hook as he's gone after not allowing a single run. Your Justin Anderson lead. is going to come on now to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Justin Anderson.
So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 0-1 pitch. Whoa, that's up there. Tried to oh, shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. The two two one more time. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Rounder down the line at third, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First pitch of the at-bat. A ball and no strikes. In his career, Judge is working with a slugging percentage over 550. So there's no denying he's one of the premier power backs in the league. 1 0 pitches his slider, swung on and missed 1 and 1. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. None out, runners at first and second. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. So now two men in scoring position. And the count will be full. Swing and a foul tip held on to behind the plate, and they're lucky he did, as that's an important out number one. Boy, there's nothing like seeing yeah, a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And that's in there as well. 0-2 oh now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back -back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Yank the slider across that time. Laid off for a ball. Man, a pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. The one-two. <laughs> Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Runners are at second and third with one down. Fouled away.
Ready with the two and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The now best ones have that Cut. late action that just Here darts at the last yeah. minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's got an opportunity to drive in a pair, perhaps even it up here in the early going. A ball and a strike. He must have been sitting fastball right there because he is not going to see a better pitch tonight. He cannot let that hanger go. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And not in time as the run scores. And he is safe at the plate as he wasn't able to recover in time. Wow, the pitcher has no one to blame but himself. Man on third, he just uncorks one. The runner alertly takes off immediately and gets their first run of the game just handed to him on a silver platter. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well for a time. I'd be looking heater. Three and two, full count. Men on third with two down. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Ryan Buchter is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to get some innings. Buchter. Mike Talkman will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. In there for strike one. No problem with that take right there. First pitch from a reliever. Got to calibrate that velocity. Come set the 0 1. Runners at the corners, two men out. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0 and 2. Now the 0 and 2 down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball ready on 0-2 one ball two strikes this is in the air to left and this is taken in by Upton, and that ends the inning. Yankees forced to settle for one. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Angels two, and the Yankees one. Back to the top of the order now, and, and standing Four in one of the goal. best two-strike hitters in baseball, top. Andrelton Andrew Simmons. Simmons. Here comes the first pitch. At the ball. Ball one, no strike. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. If he's able to locate that two-seamer down at the knees, he's going to get a ton of swing and miss and a ton of ground balls today. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' leadoff hitter.
Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police sack and climb the ladder. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. The batter, Every hitter 22. thinks that, hey, they can do Second something with man. that. But most of the time, big you get the result that you saw Walker. right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. So now to the plate, David Fletcher. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Skied down the left field line, and that will end up a foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Tuckman is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. At the plate, Anthony Rendon. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is high, a ball and a strike. One one hit high and deep to right center judges under it and that ends the inning angels are gone in order they lead it two to one ready now Torres he reached on a single in his first try the truck dog labor He's set and the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled yeah, on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his Tyler. second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. Standing in now, Tyler Wade. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Oh one here's the pitch bunt attempt here as he gets this one down there's one but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out up next for the Yankees the third baseman Miguel and Duhar digging in to try it again Miguel on Duhar 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball back inside.
the 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One run on three hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. Fastball runs in tight here and it's two and one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Now the 2-1. Popped him up. Oh, he brought it back. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman, Mike Ford. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Ford. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Aye. Fastball taken a little under the letters, called a strike. Now a throw over. Runner back standing. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2 but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. Our score remains two to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. The center fielder. Mike. He's ready. Wow. Here's the first offering. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Now here's the pitch. And here's a slider for a called strike. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Tommy Lestella is on deck. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile Designated environment, he walks nine. the leadoff hitter, and oh Tommy. yeah, he's a threat to run Lord every time Bella. he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Next will be the designated hitter, Tommy Lastella. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Throw over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. is Trout from first. Fouled off. Foul.
fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a throw over to first, and he's back easily. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. 3-2 count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Payoff pitch home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. One out. The left fielder, number eight, Justin Upton. So striding in, Justin Upton. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. One and oh, the count. Two runs on just one hit and no errors to this point for the Angels. Popped into the air, back behind second. Wade camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. The right fielder, number 18, Brian Goodwin. Into the box now, Brian Goodwin. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Oh, Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hey. Two out with the man at first. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Two takes, and now he's down 0-2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. The one two. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angel strand one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Thank you, Heidi. Noah no, Ramirez, you, a right-handed reliever now, standing 6-3, gets the ball now Number out of the bullpen. No way. Rob Heron. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball taken outside to begin the at-bat. Ball one. Gardner 
a native of South Carolina. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. Two well count the pitch is in there for strike one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Now the two one pitch is swung on and missed and that's strike two. Two two turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Ready with another two two. Three two. This is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim one away. Good time now to check out the Angels now, road to the show the report right as you see a couple of guys Aaron. in the upper levels of the minors yeah. that have been making waves of late. Big Aaron Judge as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front oh, side in. Game. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been hitter. easy to throw to front throw side and hook that foul, but yeah. he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Goodwin's in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, catcher, Gary Sanchez. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. First delivery to him on the way. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Comes in with the changeup and it's 2-0. and oh. He's gone back to back with off speed stuff to start this A-B and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. And he just manages to get his hand in. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Had him hacking at the 2-0 change, and it's back to two and one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking change up. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable.
Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. Mike Talkman would be next. The three and one pitch. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Talk. So stepping in, Mike Talkman, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing in one. Two down, runners at first and second. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The set and the 2 1. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Get ready. Albert Pujols will start things out after the break. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Angels two and the Yankees one. And leading up for the Angels, the first baseman, Albert Pujols. First pitch on its way. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. One strike to Pujols. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Pujols, who's long been referred to as the machine, he's currently in the first year of a new two-year contract. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Here's a topper foul off to the right, and that'll even the count at 2-2. Two and two. Now here it comes. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's 3-2. and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And yeah, that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Now in the box, Jason Castro. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. 
Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Gardner. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter, the shortstop, Andrelton. And now is Andrelton Simmons. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And it's fouled away. He's ready now. The pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter number 22. Second baseman. David. Digging Fletcher. in once again. David Fletcher. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. From the stretch. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. The 1 0. It is a fastball that misses. Two well count the pitch three and oh now well this has been a long inning already and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer I expect a challenge pitch right here a runner on first with two away And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now, now with two batting. away. Third it was obvious when the count Anthony. ran the two and oh that they were not going to Red give this guy no. anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound, and that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Your Jonathan Holder please. trots in from the bullpen Alpine here as he inherits a tough spot with two Number on and two away. Jonathan Holder. Anthony Rendon will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch. Holder is at least partially known for a good changeup and it's not just any change of speed pitch it dances all over the place.
the 1-0. Liner in there for a base hit. And the run will score all the way from first. And it's a 4-1 game. You simply That's cannot good. offer up a Number pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's Mark. magnitude, especially with runners wow. on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. So now the Angels cleanup batter, Mike Trout, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch. Ball one, no strike. Two out here and a runner at second. Well, should be 2-0, oh, but one he goes ball, way strike. out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. Here's Trout waiting on the 1-1. One, one. One. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Now the 2-1. Is strike two swinging. Two and two. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. The 2-2 two -two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. Five innings complete. Angels are out in front, four to one. Jaime Berea takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. set for the start of the inning riding in once again Torres two hits in two trips for him thus far ready to deliver here's the first pitch now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1 Pitch on the way. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting the second baseman, Tyler Wade. Striding in, Tyler Wade. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a bunt attempt here, but this is foul for the first strike. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Ball. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Now here's the pitch. Aye. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. The one-two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Another 1 2 delivery. Hit out towards second. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Now batting, the third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the one and one pitch. Count is two and one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Hit on the ground is short. Taken in by Simmons. Low throw, but a nice play at the bag by Pujol saves an error and ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. And this is still a four one ball game. And now the designated hitter and for the Angels, for the Tommy LaStella. He's bounced out and flown hitter. out in his first two Tommy. plate appearances. LaStella. And now pitch on the way. Ball, that's inside. Ball Downstairs, two. two balls and no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. And now pitch on the way. Lifted down the line and left. And Duhar in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell now behind 2-0 to Left start the at-bat. That's Just a pretty there. bad place to be, but then he kind of Up refocused there. himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Here's Justin Upton now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh and one delivery. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Two up, two down on strikes the in this inning. He looks 18. really sharp out there, guys. Oh yeah. Good win. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. No hits to this point. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Ball left outside. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt, he's clearly fighting his mechanics. The 3 0 pitch.
Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Angels go down one, two, three as they hold on to a four to one lead. Hansel Robles is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57, Hansel Robles. Coming to the plate now, Mike Ford. He's one for two in the ball game. The first baseman, Mike Ford. And now pitch on the way. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. All even now, 2 and 2. And the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. Another 2-2 offering. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome you go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. The center fielder number 11 Brett Gardner. So the lineup flips over and digging in Brett Gardner. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Robles, a native of the Dominican Republic. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. The 0-1 delivery, and he fouls this one off. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. Fouled away. The 0-2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight change of right El Cambio. So like you hadn't know, seen it in that entire at bat. And what Aaron. happens? Gets the string Good. pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Aaron Judge. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0 1 pitch. One and one. Line to the right side. Goodwin is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. 
become set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in a box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Ball. And that misses one and one. I got a ball, one strike. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Two out with the man at first. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. A runner on first with two away. Popped him up. Fletcher has got it, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. They trail it four to one. Seventh inning, stretch. Your Sessa gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 85, Luis Sessa. Now batting, Albert Pujols. And leading Over up, one with a run Angel. scored thus far. The first baseman, Albert Pujols. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Oh, one. Ball one. one. Sessa, a right-hander who stands in even six feet. He's a five-year vet at the major league level. The 1-1. One, one. To two balls and two strikes now. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Jason Castro will be next. Now the three and two pitch. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch now unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Castro. To the plate now, Jason Castro. Drilled right back up the middle. Torres picks it up. And boy, an oh. error saver there at first if he kept his foot on the bag. He did. Oh, what a play for the second out. The batter, number two. Shortstop, Andrew Thug. Simmons. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Andrelton Simmons. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. 1 0. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Ball upstairs here that runs it to 2 and 0. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Two out, nobody on. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. A 
little late with the swing but he stays alive still two and two. This one misses and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away. Hey this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two, two count and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And good work there as this is taken for ball four and the Angels have themselves a two out base runner. The batter number 22. Second baseman. Into the box now. David, David Fletcher. He's hitless coming Fletcher. into this at bat so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. He's set. Here it comes. High in the air and deep down the line in left. A ball that's carrying, but this will land untouched. One and one. From the stretch. Two balls and a strike. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. Hey, he'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Angels leave one, but they lead it four to one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. Who up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. The windup and the 0-1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Stepping into the box, Mike Talkman. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. This is popped up. Pujols is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for the Yankees, the shortstop, Labor Torres. Now at the plate, Torres. So far, two for three in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball, that's out. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The 1-0 is laid off for ball two. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2-1. and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Tyler Wade would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. 
Trout has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Your Zach Britton please. is on to pitch out now of the, the bullpen in the bottom goal. half of the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton. In now is Anthony Rendon. One for two with a and double on the ledger so the far. Angels, the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Fouled off. The 0 2 home. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. The batter. Standing the in, field. Mike Trout. He'll look Mark. to bounce back after striking out wow. his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Up next for the Angels, the designated hitter, Tommy Rossella. Here's a look over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. At the plate, Tommy LaStella. He swings and grounds it to short. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. The left fielder. Nice eight. effort by the shortstop right Got there. Ten. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could Up do right there, there Dan. You know, dealer on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Justin Upton the next to hit as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one he's hitless in three at bats to this point oh and one here it comes hey. oh two is the count. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Nope. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so the far. Right fielder, That's four 18. strikeouts in the first two Ryan. games, so this pitching staff Good clearly man. has him figured out. Into the box now, Brian Goodwin, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Britton pauses. Here's the 0-1. One. one and one. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. 
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Angels strand a couple as they hold on to a four to one lead. Ty Buttry comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 31. Now at the play, Tyler Wade. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against a closer. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Nope. And that'll miss up an in ball two. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3 0 now. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. There's a strike with the fastball as he gets back in the count at three and one. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. That is not the way he wanted to start off this happening. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter. But it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. So a runner at first now with nobody out and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel Andujar. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider nothing in one. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Simmons with no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Definitely a risky and aggressive play for the pitcher there, but he made it work out. They've practiced plays like that a lot in spring training, so it paid off this time. Digging in, Mike Ford. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. First pitch on its way. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. Runners on first with one down. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Trout. Gone! So it's a two run shot to right center as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Up next for the Yankees. The center fielder, Brett. At the plate now, Gardner. Brett Gardner. Yeah. As he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. He went down on strikes last time up. Oh. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. 
Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Wave and a miss made him reach. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three two pitch. Hit well again down the right field line. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it. But this ball is foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Goodwin back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. The Yankees down to their final out, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1, and it's fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Last chance for the Yankees. Seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0 2. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Hard liner to center field, and that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. Giancarlo Stanton will get a chance in the inning following the base hit. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight, so they lived to fight some more. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Two out with the man at first. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Hit hard back up the middle. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Hey, one of the things that makes it so tough to pitch is you consistently have now to make good pitches. Yep. Even on 2-0, oh, you just can't lay one right down the middle. Yeah, I'm sure he wanted to nip a corner right there. But hats off, challenging 2-0 oh, in a fastball count. He came and got some. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. The set and the 1-0. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. Outside, 2-1. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. 
Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. Ready for another chance? Mike Talkman. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Count four, and that though. misses ball one. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Ready with the 2 0. Ball three. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. Ready with the 3 0. And no doubt about this one, it's in there. 3 and 1. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Again, another foul ball. He set the three-two. Struck him out. So a great job of working out a certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base. And the ball game is over. Wow, that ninth inning was unbelievable. They load the bases with the tying run at third and the go-ahead run on second, but they can't find a way to bring them home. So close, but yet so far. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Los Angeles earned the victory despite only collecting four total hits. Justin Anderson claims the win out of the pen his first. Jay Happ is tagged with just his first loss of the year. Ty Buttry records the save his 14th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.